Greetings and welcome to a very, very special show. As I've just come back from the Apple event, I have got you an absolute exclusive. No one else has this. You're not going to be able to see it anywhere else. It's a quick interview with Francesca Sweet, the iPhone product marketing manager, and John McCormick, vice president, camera software engineering. Remember, these are two people that are impossible to get hold of. So it's not just talking to them. They took me all around the Apple campus with the new iPhone 14s, the Pro, the Max, and everything else and showed me the capabilities and I tried a few things myself including I may be the only one who actually played basketball on the Apple basketball courts. Then we'll move on to IFA 2022 in Berlin. All the latest from there last week we showed you a little bit but I told you IFA this year was absolutely incredible, mind-blowing stuff. So we'll do things from Samsung, Asus, Garmin, TCL, Mili, Leica. So much innovation from the top brands all under one roof. So let's get started with today's show. All right, let's do this. This is a really fun thing I'm going to show you. You're going to have a great time. First and foremost, you get to see the entire Apple headquarters, that spaceship area, the very, very famous Rainbow Park, right? So they've got a park, a beautiful ground out there. For some event, they put up this, you know, little set with rainbows on it and they all loved it so much, they just left it out there. It's become very famous now. People go and picnic out there. Lots of stuff happens out there. So we'll go there. We'll actually go down to the basketball courts. We'll go down to their sports and fitness areas. Remember what we're doing out there is they got an exclusive chance to actually take the iPhones, all the new iPhone 14s, before anybody else could get them and take them out and test them for everything from the new 48 megapixel sensor, their action mode, everything that they can do, the kind of pictures you can get with the 0.5, 1x, 2x, 3x, all of that and a whole lot more, including trying out their basketball coats. So also, the people taking me around were Francesca Sweet, who's the iPhone product marketing manager, and John McCormick, vice president for camera software engineering. Remember, this is an absolute exclusive. You're only going to see it. Yeah. So welcome, welcome to NDTV and the Gadget 360. Really looking forward to having a conversation with both of you and congratulations. It was absolutely fantastic, all the stuff we saw yesterday. I think a huge leaps forward, especially for what we're going to talk about today. Well, first of all, welcome to you. Welcome to Apple Park. We're so excited to have you here and, and talk about our new lineup. So we have an incredible lineup this year with our 14 and 14 Plus. We have some incredible improvements on our camera side, like you said big leaps in photography that we've made this year. So this is a great place to start to talk about the flexibility of iPhone's camera. And before we talked about the 48 megapixel camera and why you would want to use something like a 48 megapixel camera. Well, it's for times like this where we're in the middle of what used to be an apple orchard, which is now the Apple campus. We've got this beautiful rainbow. We've got people, we've got lots of detail. And so when I take this photograph, as a creative myself, I want to be able to develop this photograph and to really make something extraordinary out of it. So I'm just going to bring out my camera. I don't need to do anything special. I just bring up my camera, go into Pro Raw, and so now I can frame this great image that's got all of the arch, the folks underneath, but then the detail goes all the way back. And so when you go and zoom in on these images, you see so much detail. And for creatives around the world, this is going to be a great step forward in terms of the kinds of photographs that they can take and the quality of photographs they can take just with the phone that they carry around with them every day. Do you want to yeah, take I'm some gonna, photos yep. yourself? And yeah, yeah please. So you can see that really beautiful framing, that gorgeous color. you know, from one single perspective, we'll be able to get uh, 3X real close on our, our friends here that are having a picnic, 2X and then the 1X and then the 0.5. So it really gives you tons of creative flexibility. Like I can walk up to these folks and the first photograph I'm gonna take is sort of a close up of them. So I'm gonna go into my 3X mode. And so then with the 3X, I get down and I'm really isolating just them. And it's just sort of this little portrait of a couple of people. But it doesn't quite tell the story that I want to tell because there are these kind of like weird sort of colored shapes behind it. So I'm like, well, maybe I want to have a different frame for that. So now I'm going to go to my 2X. 
So now I can go frame them and I can get part of the rainbow. It's sort of a more abstract shot. It's not completely clear what it is. I go out to 1x and now I can have them with most of the rainbow. Or if I want that really expansive feeling of you're there and you're right in the middle of it, I can go out to 0.5 and now I can show the rainbow, the shadow, the sunburst and the people in the front and it's this beautiful cinematic photograph and with all of this I didn't have to change lenses, I didn't have to think about any of this beforehand and that's absolutely the thing that we want for you iPhone's customers. Your position. Absolutely. I can just go down here and iPhone automatically knows that I want to take a macro photograph so it changes over and I can get super close and just frame the berries and again I didn't I just got to sort of follow my intuition and follow the thing that I wanted to do instead of going like oh need a different lens I'm just like I'm gonna get close because that food looks really fantastic and it's even better this year with the improvements to the ultra wide so you're gonna to get tons of that great detail so obviously it's gonna look even more appetizing than it already is the other thing we did, talked about is we've improved the selfie camera. So now we can do these autofocus selfies that allow you to get groups and much more of the background detail in. So we're in the middle of Apple Park and so I'm thinking we go over to the other side of the rainbow so we can get this photograph. So we're going to take a little group selfie so you can see the yeah. benefits of... Yeah. And so now I can get me, both of you, the arch, and then all the way back to the tree and the building in the background everything is beautifully sharp and we're able to do that because we now have full focus control and so we can put the focal plane of the camera in the best possible position really high-tech solution customer doesn't have to think about it at all so how about we head inside to find like a little bit of air conditioning <laughs> uh, and take some inside photographs before we continue with our adventure so here we've created our indoor low light moment you can see okay. this is where the photonic engine is really going to give us a great benefit, right, in these mid to lower light scenes. Right, yeah. And so, you know, we've got some dimly lit light and it's going to do all of this intelligence in the background to bring back all of that rich detail and color. So John's going to take some shots for us. Yeah, because as Francesca said, this was the big focus this year. We've done great in bright light, extraordinary, really dark images. And now we really wanted to just push that low and mid light capability as much as possible. And so now, again, it's one of those things you don't actually have to do anything with your iPhone to set it up. You just pull it out, point it at folks, and then just go ahead and take photographs. And the thing that you find when you do that is not only is the detail and the levels of noise and things like that, but the amount of colors and the way that the color gradations happen and textures happen, they're just so much more detail. All right, so now we're gonna talk about action mode and show you the amazing quality video that you can get. And this is really for those moments when you wanna get in the action and be in the action yourself. And so we're doing some really advanced things in the background using some roll correction and overscan. But the point is, all you have to do is turn it on and then it'll do all the magic for you. Okay, this I really wanna try. Because <laughs> this is that fun thing of of when your subject's moving, when you're moving, when you've always needed so much gear to make that great quality sporting footage. And now what we're gonna do is just use our iPhones. I'm gonna shoot mine one-handed because okay. I just find that an easier way to run around with. And um, we're gonna go watch people play basketball and yeah. gonna get right in the shot with them. Yeah. Hey! Oh, 
And as you saw, for most of that, I was just using one hand and I was right in the middle of the action with everybody and the action was just buttery smooth. This is beautiful cinematic video and it is such an amazing feature. We can't wait to see what people do with it. Thank you so much for coming you, out to Apple Park. You, it was such a pleasure. Again. Thank you so much. Let's move on now to IFA 2022 at Messe Berlin. Everything that we could not show you last week. So we last week we covered LG, Panasonic. This week we take a closer look at Samsung, TCL, Asus, Garmin, Mili and a whole lot more. Samsung's bespoke collection is actually now taking home appliances to a whole new level. And you know what I really enjoyed about this? You can now customize by choosing colors and materials. So you're doing a particular kind of kitchen. You're doing something else that may be very, very modular. And you can actually customize what you want. Samsung also launched their first OLED monitor, the Odyssey OLED G8. You asked for it and we are back with it. Welcome to IFA 2022. The world's top consumer and home electronics event is back after a three-year hiatus. Just last week, we covered LG and Panasonic. LG reminded us how appearance and grooming are huge parts of our lifestyle. It introduced the LG Styler and LG Styler Shoe Care. Shoe Care gives 10 different cleaning courses for sneakers. The display setup used LG's patented True Steam Tech to clean and protect your kicks from humidity and harsh UV light. The LG Styler is the next generation of closets with inbuilt steamers, so your clothes are squeaky clean and crisp ready for any meeting. Even though there is no release date on these yet, we at Gadgets360 are keeping a very close eye on this one. But today on the show, we are rounding up our favorite tech creations straight from the grounds at Messe Berlin. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Who could miss the Samsung town at IFA? The Gadgets 360 team and the Selguru team covered the much-hyped Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Flip 4 along with the two Galaxy smartwatches, the Galaxy Watch 5 and Watch 5 Pro on our respective shows. But apart from these two torch bearers, the South Korean tech giant unveiled their latest customizable home appliances collection, Bespoke. Bespoke is where technology meets functionality with a healthy dose of personal aesthetics and consumer needs with their new tier of kitchen appliances. This includes built-in refrigerators, washing machines, dishwashers, vacuum cleaners and induction cooking. Taking personalization seriously, Samsung Bespoke consumers can now choose colors and materials based on their preferences. Made with timeless materials like stainless steel and ceramics that are both durable and stylish. Samsung wants to lead the way in expanding your home experience. AI plays a huge role in this transformation, making your homes smarter and intelligent. And how can we forget, Samsung also launched the latest ODC OLED G8. This is the company's first OLED monitor that has a super fast response time of 0.1 millisecond. A 34-inch screen offers a 3400 into 1440 resolution and an 1800R curve for a more immersive gaming experience. From there, let's move on to Mili. Now, Mili is a big name out here for premium kitchen appliances, and Mili's innovation is now driven by sustainability, for instance, their K4000 freezer series. Intelligent energy management leads to less carbon footprint. Let's take a look at what these appliances actually do. Now, if home appliances could talk, they would tell you how much care Mili has put in their collection. This German-based company's motto Discover quality ahead of its time. For a better tomorrow perfectly sums up their premium domestic appliances range, especially built to avoid food wastage. The K4000 freezer series has an innovative, perfect fresh active system at its core. A zero degree temperature with humidity in addition to a fine mist of water keeps your fruits and vegetables crisp and attractive. In addition, smart cooking assistants and recipe apps as well as intelligent energy management 
ensure more sustainability in the household. Sustainability lies at the heart of the Millet booth and this is carried over to their extensive range of refrigerators, dishwashers, induction cooktops, ovens, floor cleaners and duster and washing machines. And TCL comes in strong always at IFA. This time their premium home theater, their smart appliances, their 98-inch QLED TV from the XL collection, their TCL 6 series Roku version ideal for 4K gaming and a whole lot more. TCL, as I said, really comes out strong at IFA. After foraying into niche product segments like folding phones, TCL is coming back to what they do best producing latest display technology for large screen mini LED QLED TVs. Don't let the name mini mislead you because it is a 98 inch QLED TV. From its XL collection, equipped with quantum dot color technology, it boasts of local dimming and stunning contrast that ensures unique picture quality. Low latency and motion clarity also ensure superior viewing experience for fans of fast-moving sports like football and gamers. Mini LED and QLED are a great choice if you need high brightness and colors like your favorite Hollywood movies, DCI P3 coverage. PC gamers were most delighted by the TCL 6 series, a Roku version that packs 4K gaming at 120Hz expandable up to 144Hz. Two HDMI ports lead to enhanced gaming features and rounding this up is their state-of-the-art Dolby Vision IQ. Use voice commands through Google Assistant and let your entertainment come gaming unit be the center of attraction in your home. Truly inspiring greatness does seem apt here. Leica, the global manufacturer of high-end camera and lenses, recently forayed into TVs. Leica and Hisense combine together to make the Cine One Laser TV. Leica unveiled the Cine One Laser TV during IFA 2022, which is available in two variants. The 80-inch version that offers up to 2100 lumens of peak brightness at 180 watt and the 100-inch version that offers 2400 lumens at 320 watt. Leica, a VEDA operating system with both units, as well as video outputs built in speakers that support Dolby Atmos. Next up was ASUS. They announced three new 16 inch expert book laptops at IFA 2022. With all this action in the arena, how could ASUS be left behind? ASUS unveiled their ZenBook 17 Fold, a 17 inch behemoth of a laptop that is all screen and a simply stunning OLED panel at that. And if you didn't gather it from the name, it has a folding display. The possibilities are truly endless when you have this much screen real estate to work with. As the world's first 17-inch foldable OLED laptop, the ZenBook 17 Fold offers picture-perfect clarity, colors to early adopters the world over. With its 17-inch 2.5K high-resolution touch display that folds down instantly to a compact 12.5-inch size among various other configurations bringing greater versatility and flexibility to any power user's workflow. 100% DCI P3 color gamut coverage and the sheer might of Intel's 12th gen processors under the hood, this product is nothing short of revolutionary. Let's take a quick break right now on the Gadget 360 show. When I come back, I've got so much more to show you. Garmin, of course, forefront of everything. I sometimes use a Garmin for all my running activities. Now, they came up with the Phoenix 7, very ideal for athletes and runners. I haven't got my hand on it as yet, but I think I will. Garmin has always been at the forefront of the sports activity industry with a whole host of smartwatches and intelligent sensors to choose from. Whether they be for enthusiasts, adventurers or professional athletes. Garmin has something for everyone. 
Earlier this year, Garmin released the Phoenix 7, a monumental upgrade from their Phoenix 6 lineup. The Phoenix 7 lineup has further been upgraded, keeping sports people in mind. It features for the first time a touchscreen, longer battery life, new activity profiles for even the most niche sports activities. The Phoenix 7 comes in three different sizes, each for the two models, the Phoenix 7 and the Phoenix 7 Solar Edition. The latter features a solar charging lens, thus improving its already excellent battery life even further. But enough about games, let's focus on audio for a bit. Jabra, the popular Danish brand recently launched Jabra Elite 5. The latest in its lineup of hybrid active noise cancelling earbuds. IP55 rated, dust and water resistant, the Jabra Elite 5 is built with 6mm drivers. With active noise cancellation on, the buds last roughly 7 hours in ear and up to 28 hours in total. It also introduced the Jabra Elite 7 Active and Elite 7 Pro, have been designed keeping in mind the adventure seekers and explorers with perfect noise cancellation delivering high-res audio. Maybe this event marks the revival of IFA, but to us it also marks the best of all tech brands under one roof. It's a fiesta where technology merges with art, form and functionality and we are glad to be a part of it. It's a wrap on IFA on our show and we leave you with a promise to always keep bringing you the finest from the world of gizmo and tech right here on Gadgets 360. That then was the Gadget 360 show for this week where I showed you an absolute exclusive. You got a fantastic tour of the Apple headquarters. We got to see iPhone 14 and their optical prowess and then of course all that we had at IFA. Come back next week, we've got a whole lot more happening on the Gadget 360 show.